everyone, this is Lizzie from thishouseofcards.blogspot.com. Today I'm going to share with you how I made this wintry card using Lawn Fawn's Making Frosty Friends stamp set and the coordinating dies and some watercolors. So I'm going to start by making the background and I'll be using some watercolor cardstock and my Twinkling H2O shimmering watercolors. Um, they start out as dry paint so you just have to spritz them with water to start using them. And once they've soaked for a few minutes you can start um, applying the paint. Um, but before I apply any paint, um, I go ahead and wet my cardstock first just to help the paints move around and blend a little bit better. And then I can start applying the color. doing some heat embossing by stamping the images with Versamark ink and embossing them with black embossing powder because I'll be using the watercolor paints to color in the images. So now I'm going to be using the watercolors to color in the images and I'll be using the same colors as the background. And if you're interested in any of the supplies or the colors that I'm using, I'll have that listed on my blog, and that will be in the description below. using the coordinating dies to cut everything out and then once everything's in place I'll just run that through my big shot. So now I'm just going to be using some American Crafts glitter paper to cut a little snow bank. Um, but first I'm just going to trace a light pencil line just to give me a guide um, so that I can cut it out with a pair of scissors. the woodland branch die from memory box and I went ahead and die cut a piece from brown cardstock and white cardstock and I'm just going to layer the white one slightly above the brown one so that it looks as though there's snow on the branch.
So I had forgotten to uh, stamp the snowman's mouth, so I just went ahead and did that and stamped it with some black ink. So now is the fun part and I can start assembling everything. Stock and it's cut to five and a half by eight and a half and I'm just scoring at the four and a quarter line and I'll go ahead and fold it and that will make my card base. So now I can use some liquid glue to adhere the cardstock panel to the card base and I'm just using liquid glue so um, it'll stick really well because the cardstock's a little bit warped from all the water. Here you have the finished card. It's really quite shimmery. The Twinkling H2O paints have a special blend of mica in them that gives them a really shimmery effect. It's hard to capture on camera, but it's really pretty in real life. Thanks so much for watching. See you again soon.